In this video, we're going to discuss another method for obtaining traverse enclosure data from a boundary using a command called map check. The command map check does a map check analysis based on two objects that we haven't discussed yet, which are parcels and parcel labels. In this file, I've created a parcel with parcel labels for us to use in doing a map check analysis. To initiate map check analysis, type the command map check in the command line. When you initiate map check, this window for the map check will show up. We're going to go ahead and initiate a new map check by clicking the new map check button. When you initiate a new map check, Civil 3D is going to prompt you to enter the name of your map check. For our map check, we're going to choose boundary. For boundary, we need to specify the point of beginning for our map check. We're going to go ahead and use the point of beginning from our previous traverse editor information. So we're going to go ahead and choose this point of beginning. What Civil 3D is then going to ask us to do is select a label for our map check analysis. The first label that we have is a curve. What you need to know about curves and map check analysis is that if you have a curve that is a non-tangential curve, you have to include data in these labels that includes the chord bearing and the chord length for map check analysis to accurately depict what is happening in your boundary. So I'm going to click this label and this curve, you can see it's curving the wrong direction to match your boundary. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to hit F for flip. And you'll notice that it flips the curve and heads it in the correct direction. So we'll go ahead and select the next label and keep moving onwards. If it's displaying appropriately, then we're, we don't need to worry about flipping or rotating or reversing. So we're going to go ahead and keep clicking through until we get back to our point of beginning. Once we've gotten back to our point of beginning, we're ready to end our traverse. And so we're going to go ahead and hit enter to end that map check. So inside of the map check analysis window, if you select this button, the output view, it will give us all of the information on our map check analysis that was just performed. It'll give us our precision, our error distance, and our error direction. To take this information and put it into a usable form, you can take it and you can create a label inside of Civil 3D with mText by selecting the insert mText and then selecting a insertion point. So you can see that mText gets displayed inside of Civil 3D and it gives you all of the information about your traverse and your errors for your closure. If you want to take this information and paste it into a Word document, you can go ahead and select the copy to clipboard. And when you do that, if you want to insert it into a notepad, you can type in notepad into Civil 3D and then hit enter. And then when it asks you for a file to edit, if you can hit enter and it will open a untitled notepad and you can select inside of the untitled notepad and hit control V and it will paste all of your map check analysis data into your notepad. This is important because this is another method for obtaining traverse data and closure data to use in a traverse and closure report for your civil 3D entities.